Hi, this is Nick George with Clouds Diamond Sharpening. Uh, just going to show you a BGC uh, clipper repair and why you should get them serviced. Um, these are just demonstrational videos to show you if you think you can clean your clipper. Um, I don't mind. But if you don't think you can do it, just go ahead and send it to me and it'll get done right. And it will for sure work. Um, Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, I've been super busy, and that's good, so, here we go. So, this is a BGC, how do I know that? Um, I mean a BGRC, and it says BGRC right there, what that basically means is, uh, this is a cord pack, and you can pop a battery in it. They don't make these anymore, they went to the Andes mm, Lithium Z's or something. They're pretty nice, they're kind of expensive, but they're nice. Uh, I work on them also um, when I get one in. They're brand new, so most of them get sent back for warranty, and I don't see very many of them. But, um, so this looks pretty clean. Um... His problem is, is he says it alternates in speed, so my guess would be is there's carbon around the armature, preventing it from spinning and making complete contact. So we're going to go ahead and clean the armature, we'll take the motor out, we'll replace anything that needs to be replaced. Um, the drive, so you, you lock the bearing, and the bearing's not broken because it's not wobbling right now. The drive's not wobbling, so it's good. Um, and usually you can tell if these are bent up, and then you need a new drive, or they make newer kind of drives that don't have the metal. But if there's any play in this, either the bearing's broken or the drive's messed up. Sometimes if the bearing's broken, it'll melt that plastic in there. And that's not good either. Um, you don't want that bearing getting hot because your clipper's not going to run very very long and very fast because too much friction and it melts the insides of that and then causes play then leaves lines in the haircut and you don't want that um, you want this to travel 100% so it gets all the hair not just a little bit you want it to go all the way so let's get to work So it sounds fine. Switch works, cord works, sounds great. But it alternates in speed. I asked him because I don't have time to just sit here and run it all day and see if it alternates in speed. So he told me that and I'm gonna just go ahead, he wants me to go ahead and service it and make sure that it doesn't alternate in speed. So since it's not doing it now, I know the armature's good. You can check the armature simply by locking it in place. Putting a blade on it works well. Um, always snap these blades on when it's running. It's better for the motor. So you can. So if the armature was bad, it sometimes it wouldn't start. It would just not uh, go because there's a dead spot in one of the commutator posts and that means no power is getting to it and circulating through the armature to create a magnetic, magnetic field but this armature is fine so we have to go deeper So this is the inside, uh, we can pop it out of this housing. Switch, two contacts where the batteries go, or this, uh, cord pack, so you can connect this, it'll run, um, and sometimes when the switch is um, not coming on all the time, 
is simply because it's missing this plastic piece, uh, plastic shielding. It's not a big deal, but you're going to have to get them serviced anyway. And I blow the switch, the inside of the switch out because there's little contacts in there. And if it doesn't hit those contacts, the switch doesn't work. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brushes out and I'm going to check the brushes. Because they're the main reason something wouldn't work. Or keep the same speed. If they're too small, they look fine though. And they are. They're clean. So that's good. Um... This one's clean, that's good. Um, and now we're gonna get into this. careful popping these clips off if you break the little plastic little plastic piece in there you'll be replacing the whole front motor frame and it's not cheap it's not real expensive but it's not cheap you don't want to have to do it if there's nothing wrong with it okay so then you pop this front motor frame off You can look down in here and there's little bits of golden carbon from the brushes. For some reason these brushes are golden. Um, maybe some kind of new material, I don't know. Uh, probably still carbon. The armature doesn't look bad. Um, there's a little grooves in it. Um, it'd be nice to get rid of those. Pop this off. There's a seal in there. Don't forget that seal. There's a seal in there. Don't forget that seal. Or it's not going to run very good. So, basically what I'm going to do. Put on my little attachment here. What this is going to do, it's going to spin the armature for me. I'm going to put it on the bearing tight so basically this is the armature for me so I'm gonna take my trusty diamond stick use the diamond sticks so it doesn't um, oh man my good diamond stick's gone oh well what kind of is a loss missing in action? Okay, so this is another diamond stick, and uh, oh, don't want to do that either. be okay and then take the air compressor let me turn on the air compressor okay the air compressors up what I'm basically gonna do is blow all the diamond out of these little holes in the commutator you don't want uh, debris in there So this was clean, this was not, I'm going to clean it, we'll clean it right now, use a little electronical cleaner, so 
Now it's nice and clean, no carbon in there. The seal's still intact. So since this was clean, uh, usually there'll be like black gunk or oil maybe. Some of the people get oil. And the brushes are good. What else could be the problem? I'll give you guys a few seconds to think about that. I'm pretty sure it alternates in speed or he wouldn't have sent it to me. Um, so I'm 100% sure something's wrong. Now just think about it and see what uh, we come up with. Okay. So if the cord's not bad, which it wasn't, it can be the cord. Um, now it could maybe be these contacts are a little loose and it's jolting around so we could go ahead and just tighten them just a little bit not too much you'll break them okay so th I mean that could have helped probably not but what else so power comes in through here the switch is clean so it probably is not the switch, unless he's hitting the switch. So we can go ahead and check that. See, there's a lock on the switch. But there's no hair in it, and it locks, see? See how it locks? I can't move it when I don't push that red button. See? Doesn't... So, alternating in speed, hmm. So power goes through there, it goes through here. And then it comes out to these brushes. The brushes are good. What, I wonder if the brushes weren't touching this hard enough, that would alternate in speed and cause them to hop around. That's a pretty good S or guess. So, I think these brushes need to be stretched out just a little bit to make that contact good okay look not very much you know just a little bit um but what that's going to do is going to put more pressure on the commutator and brushes and it's not going to jolt around um, I don't know, well, my air compressor switch went bad, and I fixed it, um, but until I had time to fix it, there was a contact on there, and it was hopping, the electricity actually pushes it off itself, it tries to shoot it away, because it's not making a hard connection. So what I did was I fixed the springs on the switch to push that connection down even harder. And now you turn that bad boy on and it's on. Okay. There's no hopping around. Same thing with these. So now these brushes are going to make complete contact. They're going to, you know, uh, be pushed a little harder. So let's just go ahead and finish this video because that's the problem. Uh, but we could go ahead and check the cam bearing, make sure it doesn't wobble. It's like brand new. Um, so, that's basically it, guys. Feels a little wet, we don't like that. And then we put it back together, and that's about it, so.
Are these brushes incorrect or you'll be buying new brushes? Um, there's a groove on one side of the brush. If you put it in wrong, it'll get stuck. You can also see the curvature of the where the armature would be. Um, so you want to do that correctly. Which kind of feels a little loose, so I'm going to go ahead and nip that in the butt. Tighten it down a little with these little clamps. Much better. You can test it before we put it all together. So it's, it's not alternating in speed. I've never seen it alternate in speed, but basically we conquered every area and aspect of this motor. So it has no choice but to run full speed now. Now, if the problem persists, I doubt it will, but it will be because this is getting hot and one of the diodes is melting off the PC board, then you have to replace the cord pack. But as far as the clipper goes, it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it now. I mean, it'll turn on every time. There we go. Little hair stuck in it. Better blow it out to make sure. See, it's good to get your guys' clipper service. You don't want that to. That might have been the problem also. But either way, we cleaned the motor for him. And he'll be happy. So it'll be a $20 service. Um, prices may change someday, so check the website. All information is on www.diamondedge2015.com You can call, uh, I prefer text messages because I don't have a receptionist and I'll probably end up talking to you through text message before I call you unless you're a repeat customer. Put a little lube in there. What? less friction as possible um, so have a good day oh, well I guess we'll, I'll just fast forward it and we'll show me put it back together
Here we go. Always test it with the blade. Congratulations, we made it guys, and I'm not embarrassed, too bad, um, enjoy the free video, if you do not like what I say or my music, then please hit mute, and no hard feelings, I understand, it's, it's free music, and I think it adds a little interesting aspect to the videos. Um, sorry if it annoys you, um, it doesn't annoy me, so, thank you, um, I sharpen clipper blades, I sharpen barber blades, I sharpen trimmer blades, I fix trimmers, I sharpen scissors, all scissors, that can open more than 90 degrees or be taken apart, um, yeah, and, um, you won't be disappointed. Use glass diamond sharpening today. Do not delay. Have a good day. See you later.